I've done it. Now all I need to do to make a human being is to breathe a breath of life into this human. Whoa, wait, wait a second. Where am I gonna get the breath of life from? Where? Experiment failed. No, not there. Yeah. Okay, hello. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amazing Foundation Ministries International Kids Corner. And today I'm going to be talking about the creation. Good, the creation of human beings. God created us human beings unique. Have you ever seen a man-made human being before? That that was made out of sand and dust. That um that was breathed the breath of life. That has a soul. That has a heart, and has um bones. All those features inside their body. A man-made human being. Have you ever seen that in your life? Of course not. God is the creator of all the world. He doesn't share his glory with any man. So no man on earth would know how to make a human being, re a real human being. You see this toy baby? Let alone making a human being I can't even stick the legs on. Human beings normally test God by saying, God, you said you'll never share your glory with any man. So I am going to make a human being. And they start making the human being. Yes, yes, I've got all the parts. Yes, I've finished my human being. But they're like, oh, I don't have the breath of life. Oh, I just wasted my time. They just wasted their time. See, God can't share his glory with any man. God is God. Us humans are humans. There's a really big difference, you know. God is strong, almighty, all powerful, the healer. Everything that's good is the best He's the best friend in the whole entire world. He's the only friend that you can really trust. But us human beings, we can lie, we can steal, we can be rude, we can be unkind. But God is never unkind. He's always nice to us. He's a merciful God. He's a gracious God. That's all we have time for today. Bye. See you soon. Don't worry, baby. I'll send you to a hospital to fix your arms and legs. <laughs>